Okay, so we, uh, the time is coming, we're going to talk about cyclic quadrilaterals, yeah, circle theorems, and it's <coughs> important that you every time realize, okay, which ones do we have, yeah? because then it's actually not as hard as it, as it, as it, as it seems, circle theorems. Yeah? So we have angles at the center of a circle, which is, which is the arrow you're looking for, yeah? so you have a radius, a radius, and they meet somewhere at circumference, and that angle is half uh, the size of the angle at the center, yeah. But it's important to realize that that is at the center of the circle. Okay, and then because of that, uh, let me find the sheet. We have spoken about angles in the semicircle. There we go. Which is actually the same theorem. Yeah. So we have two radii. They meet somewhere else. Then you always have this right angle triangle because this angle is half the angle at the middle. Diameter straight line, 180 degrees. So 90 degrees. Hey, you're going to do some Pythagoras then probably and some trigonometry because you have a right angle triangle. Okay. Well, that's the first circle theorem at the center of the circle. And then the second one we've just done is the angles in the same segment. And actually, that one is based upon uh, angles at the center. But anyway. Um, you're looking for the bow tie, yeah? And then we said, well, ACB is the same as ADB. As long as those last letters are the same, the angles in the middle at point D and C, then will be equal. And I showed you and I'm proving to you why that is the case, yeah? But it doesn't have to go through the center anymore. Yeah? It's a bow tie, clearly, so angles in the same segment. And actually, the last one we're going to do now, uh, the last circle theorem, is the cyclic quadrilateral. And I'm going to show you, I'm not going to prove the entire thing to you. Uh, I need a blank piece of paper, guys. Where's a blank piece of paper? Uh, okay, sorry about that. Here we go. We have one blank. It's, it has a circle on it. I'm not going to prove it to you entirely. Cyclic quadrilateral, yeah? Cyclic quadrilateral. Well, quadrilateral is a four-sided figure. And cycling, uh, cycling, I love cycling. So I'm cycling over the circumference of my circle, okay? And let's say I'm gonna start here, and then I'm going to just take a pause over there. So I'm going to draw it, and I'm gonna do it four times, because I'm talking about a quadrilateral. So in any direction, let's say I pause there. Let's say I pause here. A cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral with all the four corners or the four vertices on the circumference of a circle. That's what we call a cyclic quadrilateral. Yeah? A, B, C, D. As you can see, all four points are on the circumference of a circle. That makes it a cyclic quadrilateral. Yeah? We understand why it's a quadrilateral, it has four sides, and cyclic because you're cycling over the circumference of the circle. Now, what is a the circle theorem then? The only thing I'm going to say now is that the opposite angles, so let's say X and its opposite angle, which is Y, opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral always add up to 180 degrees. So if this one is A and that angle is B, then A plus B will also be, because they're opposite angles, add up to 180 degrees. That is a cyclic quadrilateral. And please notice again. This circle theorem, it doesn't go through the center of the circle. The center is there. The cyclic quadrilateral is around it. Like with the bow tie, yeah, the other one, angles in the same segment, does not go through the center of the circle. It could, but it doesn't have to go through the center of the circle. It is angles at the center of the circle, that particular uh, circle theorem, eh, the arrow, that requires those lines, those radii to go through the center of the circle, okay? So that is what you should be looking for when you're doing circle theorems. Are the lines going through the center of the circle? Do I see some sort of arrow? Then it's probably this one, yeah? If they talk about diameter, probably right angle triangle, yeah? If it doesn't go through the center, do I see a bow tie? Angles in the same segment. Is it a cyclic quadrilateral? Do all the four vertices of the quadrilateral lie on the circumference of the circle? It's a cyclic quadrilateral, opposite angles add up to 180 degrees. Those are the circle theorems. Nothing to be scared of, yeah? Just analyze each situation carefully and with confidence. Just wanna talk with you about tangents in the next videos, yeah? Very briefly, it doesn't take very long. So I hope to see you there, yeah? We're gonna talk about tangents. Like and share this if it was useful, then I can help your friends too. And check my site, explainingmaths.com, for all my resources available for free. I'll see you later.